We're back here with my TiVo Michelangelo, and it's been doing pretty good. I've gotten a lot of good prints off of it, but I wanted to add a borosilicate glass plate, which I've put on here and temporarily affixed it with some painter's tape just to get a sense of the size. And of course, what happens is when this thing goes home, it crushes the plate because it's trying to go down to the level of this bed. The plate adds about four millimeters of thickness on top of it. So I wanted to correct that and I was wondering how to do it. And it's actually pretty simple if you wanted to add or change the bed on here, the build plate. What you do is there's this optical sensor here which has a set screw and all you have to do is move this up or down and that changes where the print head will stop mid root. So right now I've gone into my settings here and in settings, uh, let's see, we can focus this a bit more. Um, I can go into prepare, and then here you have move axis. And I just went to the Z axis here. And I can move it in increments of 10 millimeters just to get it out of the way. So every time I rotate the dial, it'll raise it up a little bit. And that gives me a little more room to work with. Then all I need to do is just put the set screw in here, I mean the set screw, the hex wrench, and and you know what? I can't do this with holding the camera and trying to coordinate looking at it, so, oh, there we go, okay. And these wrenches come with the TiVo, so. And I don't need to move it, I've already moved it once as a test, and I'm about, just about two millimeters above the bed with the end of the fans here. I just wanted it a little higher. So I'm just gonna slide this up just a little bit more. It doesn't have to go up much. And I'll have to loosen it a bit more. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. There, that's up enough. And now I just tighten it back down. And you really don't need to tighten it all that much because this is plastic and nothing really touches it. So I don't want to crush it. I'm just snugging it up there. And now, if I go back to my little screen here and I go back to Auto Home, You'll see when this comes down, it shouldn't be that close to the deck or the print bed. That's pretty good. It's just floating above it. So we're good to go there. Now uh, what I need to do is I have some clips that I've designed in Blender to clip this on nice and stable um, without the tape. But in order to print out the clips, I had to have this on here. So I'm using the tape for now. And then what I'll do is I'll uh, go ahead and level the bed and make sure everything is good there. And then print out those clips and then we'll come back. All right, so now that my uh, bed is all leveled, I'm just going to go take my little Elmer's glue stick here. And then just put some glue on here. And then I'll go ahead and give it a shot and see what happens. It is indeed sticking. That's a good sign. So hopefully within a half hour or so I'll have a bunch of clips and be able to take the tape off and then resume printing some of the mountain park models. I spoke too soon! It came apart. So I'll have to try this again. What it may be is it's getting cooler in the basement so I'm going to crank up the heat in this room and see if that helps. 
Well, that's amazing what a little bit of heat will do. So it's nice and toasty in this room now, and everything is sticking fine. So hopefully in another hour or so, the clips will all be done. So it's finished just nicely, and they peel off quite well. There's the clip right there, and they fit perfectly, snap right into place. So I'm going to go ahead and put these on, and then I'm going to print out a new model I just created. So we'll be right back. All right, there are my new clips all installed. If you're interested in having some of those for your very own, I put them up on Thingiverse, so you can get them there. There's a link in the uh, notation section of this video.